Good morning, welcome back to BT. Well, earlier today, Specialty Network OLN announced that they will be bringing the hit reality series, series Storage Wars here with Storage Wars Canada. Now here with the details, a couple folks you're gonna recognize, Dan and Laura Dotson, they're the auctioneers from the original Storage Wars. All right, guys, first let's talk about the show. For anybody who's missed out, uh, we're talking about to treasure hunters who are bidding on abandoned storage units, and that's where you guys come in, because you guys sell them off. You know it. That's exactly <laughs> right. We, you know, we sold about $3 million worth of these things last year in the yeah. States, and, and yeah. uh, we're looking to come and tear up Canada with Ooh, OLN for Storage sure. Storage Wars Canada, baby. Coming out with uh, the Blue Jays, going to kick it this year, and Storage Wars. We're pretty happy to be involved. Not a bad oh, connection. Let's, let's talk about who you're looking for. Who are you looking for in the show? How can Canadians be part of the show? Yes. You know oh, what? Oh, wonderful. Yes, go you know, ahead, Storage uh, TV, you could go to at, um, I'm so sorry, what was it, PropertTV.com, and you can go ahead and get your name and number on there, and perhaps you can actually become a storage bidder. Looking for unique bidders, they yeah. know what they're talking about, they know yeah. what they're doing, and if you've got a good uh, above board personality, this yes. certainly can help. And you're buying storage, you have a thrift store, your yard sale, we want to see you, absolutely. That's exactly right. Yeah. If you think you got what it takes, you should go on the website, yeah. you, should, uh, you should sign up. Modern day Side slingers, let's do it. <laughs> we already got the links up on breakfasttelevision.ca. What kind of personality traits make a good yeah. bidder? What kind of people are you looking for? Yeah. You know, I think a good show is like a good stew. Uh, you yeah. have all the right ingredients. If yeah. you have too many mushrooms, it's not going to be good. If you <laughs> have too much potatoes, that's not going to work. So just a good, yeah. you know, three, four, five very unique personalities that. Um, I think somebody that, that is well yes shrewd, uh, somebody that's not afraid to bid against somebody else, um, somebody that you know perhaps is my dollar buyer or my ten thousand dollar buyer. I we need buyers for everything. So. You know, um, in the states when we send our buyers into, we go to different cities and stuff, mm -hmm. and we have very strong buyers in every yeah, town. All so over. I would say good strong buyers, folks that aren't afraid to bid, mm -hmm. um, that know what they're doing, and aren't afraid to the let the their dirty laundry out or be shy around the camera and just forget that it's there and just do their normal job. You know and and believe it or not, there's treasures out there that w when we're not filming, you're, they're finding them all the time. So I'm really excited that Storage Wars Canada is here because this area is untapped and there are so many storage facilities that... And, <laughs> and the truth is, you know, you make your money on your 20 30 $50 items. Yeah. So, you know, if you are out there and you're making your money and you're doubling or tripling your money, most of the time, then you might just have what it takes yeah. to be on, on You're going to get addicted. I promise you're going to get that auction fever. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen it sweep. Let's talk big stuff. Let's get people excited. Uh, what's some of the largest things you guys have found, the most expensive things you guys have yes. had people find. Sold um, a couple yeah. million dollars worth of Alberto mm -hmm. Vargas, Vargas stuff mm -hmm. a few years ago. Uh, yes. Uh, Laura sold Jack of Orkin stuff. There was $38,500 yes. cash. Uh, in there. Recently, a unit uh, sold for $1,100. It was $500,000 worth of pieces of aid in there, gold bullion bars. Madonna had a helper that lost some stuff that helped her from 87 to 93, yes. and there was 400 grand worth of stuff. A Just unit sold $75. It had a dresser inside. The gentleman had a lady who wanted to buy it. She, he says, $150. He's doubling his money. That's what you want to do. He pulls the dresser out but it pulls the drawer out all of a sudden a menu falls out from underneath on the bottom titanic yes he picks it up says here you go and he looks at it this is worth 50 grand titanic fifty thousand dollars and, and the truth is there's been a lot more stuff sold without a camera around than yeah. ever with a camera yeah that's so, what i'm saying it's just you know it's just a matter of hitting enough sales and finding the stuff and we like being at the center of it so whenever there's a great <laughs> find i like to know about it <laughs> i'm the first one to twitter it and get it out there and <laughs> team z picking it up or whatever so and it's made this uh storage wars you know obtainable people see you know there are things out there why in the world did it go to storage how come they didn't pay their bill you know there's so many reasons why you know either you know we hate to say it, you know, death or divorce or whatever, dumb thinking. A lot of reasons thinking. that people lose their stuff. And I think jail. Uh, when people are having problems, mm -hmm. their, their priorities change. Last bit, thing they're so. thinking about. Uh, let's say, for instance, Granny had a unit, left it in their nephew's name, and he does not want to go through it. He goes, I'm paying on this unit. What am I thinking? He looks at the first few things and then dumps it. And that is where a lot of these treasures are found. And that's so. it. That's exactly a big part of the show is there's treasure out there. There's treasure yes. out there somewhere in Canada. And we're so glad that you guys yes. are bringing us to Canada in the OLN yes. network. Yes. And yes. now we just need to find some good uh, charismatic characters uh, yeah. to add to the show. Yeah. So make sure and check out the website Woo. and get So involved. happy to be here in Canada. We're all about it. <laughs> oh, and a Canada. nice Canadian reference as well. All right, thanks, guys. We're going to cut you off there. All the information is already on breakfasttelevision.ca. Very nice to meet Laura and Dan from Storage Wars. You can catch them and the show weekdays on OLN at 7 p.m. Going to take a break. Still plenty to come today on BT. Money owns this town. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Money